A game jam is a competition that game developers take part of to see who can make the best game. Normally there are limitations and the game jam I was in was no different. The limitation was, no stopping. The first thing that came to my mind was games like Temple Run and Jetpack Joyride. So I got straight to work. I use these army like people made by Secret Hideout, link in the description for all the artwork I used. I made the player constantly move right with the ability to jump and shoot. Next I made the enemy. Let me say now that level design is not my strong suit but I gave it a try and it is very tedious, placing each tile on by one. After I got some of the level done I started on working on the player's health so I can get shooting for both enemies and the player working. I used SFXR to make the sound effects for jumping and shooting. I got rid of the health bar and made it into hearts, the hearts can deplete by half, giving you 6 times you can get shot without dying. I wanted a reason to keep coming back to the game so I made a scoring system, when you kill an enemy you get 10 more points, if you get 1000 points you can get 1 heart worth of health. Oh no. This is where disaster struck, because I did not want to make more levels I made random generation terrain on a new scene but this ruined my first level so I had to continue the random terrain generation. After a while I got it all working with the enemies being random and the hearts spawning in random parts of the map, this took the most amount of time to make, about 5 hours it took me. I need there to be holes in the floor for the player to jump over so I got that done, there were many tiny little bugs that needed to be squished but took so long to figure out. After testing for some time I noticed it's hard to jump over small platforms so I made the player have the ability to control their jump height by holding the jump button. Next I had to make a main menu otherwise there would be no way to play the game. Instead of zooming around as soon as the game starts I wanted a timer that counts down and when it gets to zero I want the player to accelerate to full speed. Once the player touches a wall or an enemy, the player will be moved up 64 pixels and moved right 16 pixels so the player can continue at the cost of losing a whole heart. And after some time of fixing a few minor things, the game was done. You can't play it until the game jam ends but when you do please check it out. Thank you for watching and be sure to take a look at my other videos, bye.